Hello everyone and welcome to another ship overview. We are moving on now to the Armageddon class battle cruiser. Now, the previous video about the Overlord, I could not wax enough poetic about how good the Overlord is. The Armageddon is a really strong contender. Now, realize that in the fleet lists where generally speaking, but not universally, the Overlord is present, the Armageddon is not. Over overall, the Armageddon is meant to be an alternative to the Overlord. And here is why. If the Overlord is what happens when you take a Tyrant and then you supercharge it and give all of its weaponry super long range, the Armageddon is what happens when you take a Lunar and then you supercharge it and turn it into one of the best ship killers in the game. The Armageddon has a pretty standard cruiser, uh, cruiser stat line. Nothing really new or exciting about it. But over here, you'll notice an, a whole new slew of weapons. Port and starboard lance batteries at 45. Port and starboard weapons batteries at 6 strength. And prow torpedoes at 30 centimeters. And two, of course, 60 centimeter dorsal lance batteries. Basically, this is what happens when you take a lunar, slap a, a gothic on top of it, and then make everything at 45 centimeters minimum speed. And you have that lovely option of replacing the prow torpedoes for a Nova Cannon. Uh, this is not an, op an upgrade that I would recommend because this ship is not designed to stay at the edge of the board. This ship is like a souped up lunar. It is meant to go down the center of the board and the moment it has the opportunity, it is designed to punch other cruisers as hard as it can in the face. Just like the Overlord, it is designed to be squadroned with another Armageddon, because combining all of its firepower, now at a more superior range, it increases its effectiveness and lethal lethality by an incredible degree. This vessel is phenomenally good. The battle cruisers of the Imperial Navy are all dramatically better than their standard cruiser variants. They have an incredible amount of firepower concentrated in one place. I also highly recommend taking ram spikes on these bad boys because as a linchpin or a second wave of a frontal assault after your standard cruisers have softened the enemy up there's nothing more entertaining than ramming somebody with an Armageddon. However really what the beauty of this ship is is its capacity to fight vessels that are bigger than it. This is a dedicated capital ship killer vessel. It is designed to attack things way above its point class and size class. There is no ship in the game that does not in some way fear the Armageddon. Now Eldar have a little less to fear from this than say the Overlord but its firepower is still 45 centimeters, which means you will have more of an opportunity to knock down the Eldar ships of their escorts and knock and, you know, shave off hull points with more effect, uh, effectiveness than, say, a normal uh, cruiser would. This is a very expensive cruiser at 235 points, but it is worth every single penny. Taking two of these is a very effective option for replacing a battleship. If you want something on a little bit more of a, not necessarily durable platform, but on a more flexible, maneuverable platform. I love Armageddons. They're not my true love like the Overlord, but the Armageddon has never failed me in its use. Even if it's expensive, it always brought back more points than I put into it. I highly recommend them if you're playing a Segmentum Solar fleet because they are designed to be taken in that fleet because they are literally, instead of the standard, take two cruisers for per one battle cruiser. It's take one cruiser per battle cruiser, which means you can take one light cruiser and an Armageddon. Take another light cruiser, take another Armageddon. And because you're sh saving those points on those light cruisers, you are investing them in the platform in a very economic manner. The Armageddon is a phenomenal ship. I highly recommend it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will talk with you all again soon.